Cotton, you wrote about uh, uh, being targeted, uh, and obviously there is there's a sort of few layers to this. As you've been sort of a, um, a target of national right wing media, you've been a target of the president, and obviously it appears allegedly a target of this kidnapping plot. And one thing we've seen is when the president turns his rhetorical fire on people, whether that's Leslie Stahl or Anthony Fauci, they end up needing 24 hour security. They end up having threats. What has it been like uh, to to be on the receiving end of that? Well, it's been hard, Chris. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of time to stop and process it or feel sorry for myself. I've got a job to do, and I'm going to keep doing my job. But starting in April, when the president singled me out and called me that woman from Michigan and tweeted, liberate Michigan, every time he focuses on my state or on me, we see the violent rhetoric increase. We see the threats online increase. I have had to have a lot of serious, hard conversations with my children when there are people with AR-15s out on our front lawn. And this, these are, are people who are looking for any leader to give them some credibility and some some comfort and some encouragement. And when Donald Trump won't denounce them in the middle of a presidential debate, that's the kind of encouragement they seek. When Donald Trump says things like lock them all up, that's the kind of encouragement. And it's dangerous. It's anti-American. We settle our differences at the ballot box. And if we don't like the result, we get organized and get ready for the next election. We have peaceful transition of power. We put our democracy before our party, and we put our country before ourselves. That is not how this administration operates. And that's why I think this choice to elect an incredibly decent, experienced, empathetic set of people like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is where, uh, where I believe our country is headed because we are sick and tired of being sick and tired and worrying about our lives and our livelihoods.